Welcome to our lecture online. The next case is where you may not realize that the denominator evenly fits into a 10, or 100, or 1,000. In this case, 8 does fit evenly into 1,000, and 20 does fit evenly into 100, but let's say that we didn't realize that. What do you do next? You have to realize that when you have 3 over 8, that really means 3 divided by 8. In other words, we can do a longhand division and get the decimal place that way, or the decimal that way. So let's do that. Let's take the number 3 and divide it by 8. Well, 8 goes into 3 zero times, no remainder. And then we realize there's a decimal place here. That means we're going to put a decimal place there. Now we add a 0. 8 goes into 30. 3 times, 3 times 8 is 24. When we subtract that from 30, we get 6. Drop down the next 0. 8 goes into 60. Mm, that would be 7 times. 7 times 8 is 56. Remainder is 4. Drop down the next 0. 8 goes into 40 5 times. And here's our answer. 3 divided by 8, which is the same as 3 eighths, can then be written as 0 0.375. Let's do the same with this number here. This really means that we have 11 divided by 20. So what, that's what we're going to do over here. We're going to take the number 11 and divide it by 20. Now 20 goes into 11 0 times. So we know that we have a decimal place there. We have a decimal place there. Now we add a 0. 20 goes into 110 5 times. 5 times 20 is 100. The remainder is 10. Drop down another 0. 20 goes into 100 5 times. 5 times 20 is 100. Remainder 0. I guess I didn't do the final thing here. Uh, 5 times 8 is 40. Remainder 0. So we, we are done here. We are done. So that means that this cannot be written as 0 0.55. So when all else fails and you can't see that the denominator fits evenly into, let's say, 10, 100, or 1,000, and maybe this is not quite clear that A does fit into 1,000 evenly, you simply go ahead and do a longhand division and you turn, then turn the fraction into a decimal that way. On the next video, we're going, to see, we're going to show examples where we can't get a zero remainder. Then how do you turn a fraction into a decimal when you never get a zero remainder? Well, stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that. That will be case four.